Cop pulls over a car, but his life changes when the driver opens his trunk. On a determined shift, young police lieutenant William faced harsh criticism from colleagues who dubbed him a professional failure, particularly inept at vehicle stops. Despite their harsh words, William, who had been in the traffic control department for a year without solving a single criminal case, saw a potential breakthrough when a hearse approached. Recalling a movie plot involving drug smuggling in a hearse, William decided to inspect the vehicle. Introducing himself to the hearse driver, William demanded to check the trunk. Reluctantly, the driver showed him the sealed coffin inside. When William insisted on opening it, the driver resisted perplexed by the request. Frustrated, William fabricated a story about a new policy requiring hearse inspections, making the driver nervous. As another vehicle sped past, the driver criticized William for focusing on the wrong issues. Undeterred, William continued his demands, eventually drawing his revolver to enforce his command. When the coffin was finally opened, William's hopes were dashed. The coffin merely contained the body of an elderly lady headed for her funeral, not the illicit goods he had imagined. Disappointed but persistent, William questioned the driver about their destination and the deceased cause of death. The driver, now cooperative, mentioned the woman had died of a heart attack, which contradicted his earlier story of a drunken death. The inconsistency raised William's suspicions again, prompting him to search the driver. However, the situation escalated quickly when William unexpectedly received a blow to the head, knocking him unconscious. He awoke an hour later inside the coffin, laying next to the corpse in panic. Trapped in a moving hearse and headed to a cemetery, he realized the driver's true criminal nature. This misadventure led William to a real confrontation with criminality, far from his imagined scenarios influenced by movies. His real test of intuition and professionalism wasn't in outsmarting fictional smugglers, but in handling an unexpected and life-threatening crisis firsthand. Trapped in a coffin with an elderly lady's corpse, police officer William faced a grim situation. The hearse, which he had mistakenly suspected of smuggling illicit substances, was actually just transporting a deceased woman, The driver, previously assumed to be a criminal due to his appearance and evasive answers, had simply been doing his job. This realization came too late for William, who is now fighting for air inside a sealed coffin alongside the body. The coffin, which was cheaply made but sturdy enough to withstand easy breakage, became William's temporary prison. Struggling to breathe and desperate to escape, He reflected on how unrealistic action movies seemed now that he was living a true crisis. In his pocket, William found his phone but had no signal to call for help. He checked the old lady beside him, finding her still alive. She'd been quietly breathing all along, unnoticed by him initially. His new mission was clear. He needed to save both himself and the elderly woman, who appeared to have been sedated or poisoned. As he pounded on the coffin lid, hoping to attract attention and get rescued, the situation escalated. The hearse had stopped, and William heard sounds outside, suggesting that the coffin might soon be buried. Frantic, he screamed and protested as dirt began to fall on the coffin. "'I'll catch you, and you'll be in jail,' he shouted at the perceived criminal burying him alive, though his threats fell on deaf ears. In those desperate moments, William's thoughts turned dark." He wished the elderly lady had not regained consciousness to spare her the terror of being buried alive. As he tried to calm his breathing, a sudden loud thump against the coffin brought silence. Then the lid was forcibly opened. Light streamed in, and William and the lady were rescued by Mr. Johnson, a cemetery watchman who had followed the hearse sensing something amiss. Mr. Johnson, an elderly man who usually kept to himself and only occasionally participated in funeral processions for extra money, had decided to investigate the lone hearse driver's suspicious behavior. Noticing the driver's nervous glances and rapid actions, Mr. Johnson armed himself with a shovel and confronted the man, ultimately saving William and the elderly woman from a premature burial. The ordeal revealed that the driver was part of a larger scheme involving real estate fraud and attempted murder. 
The elderly woman, named Isabel, had been targeted by criminals planning to seize her property. They drugged her to make her appear dead, intending to dispose of her body discreetly. William's intervention, though initially misguided, had inadvertently thwarted a grave crime. When William broke free from the coffin, the sudden appearance of a living policeman caused Mr. Johnson, the cemetery watchman, to faint. Quickly, William rescued the elderly lady who had lost consciousness inside the coffin due to a lack of air. After ensuring her safety, he called for an ambulance and the police. The criminal hearse driver was swiftly apprehended, and both the guard and the elderly lady named Isabel recovered promptly. Mr. Johnson, shaken by the event, jokingly told William to warn him next time to prevent such a scare, hinting at reducing his whiskey-drinking habits. The police later discovered that the criminal activities were more extensive than anticipated. They uncovered a gang posing as real estate agents who had drugged Isabel to take over her property, intending to bury her alive discreetly. Fortunately, William's timely intervention thwarted their plans. His courage not only saved Isabel, but also demonstrated his dedication and professionalism, earning him respect and a promotion at work. The experience forged a deep bond between William, Isabel, and Mr. Johnson. They shared many heartfelt moments together, with Isabel recounting intriguing stories from her life, enriching William's understanding and appreciation for the people he serves. Despite his efforts to encourage Mr. Johnson to quit drinking, their shared experiences over drinks on the balcony remained a cherished routine, symbolizing the complexities of human relationships and the unexpected friendships that can arise from the most challenging circumstances. The story of Police Lieutenant William demonstrates the unpredictability of law enforcement duties and the importance of perseverance, intuition, and critical thinking. Initially criticized by his peers as a failure, William encounters a hearse he suspects is involved in illicit activities based on a movie plot. His decision to inspect the vehicle thrusts him into a real-life crisis far beyond his cinematic expectations. After demanding to inspect the coffin within the hearse, he finds himself knocked unconscious and trapped inside it with what he initially thought was a corpse, but was actually an elderly woman, Isabel, who had been drugged as part of a real estate fraud scheme by criminals posing as agents. The ordeal highlights the dangers police officers face, showcasing that real-life crises require immediate, pragmatic responses and cannot always be anticipated by textbooks, procedures, or cinematic narratives. William's experience inside the coffin, battling for air and trying to protect both himself and Isabel, underscores the essential qualities of resilience and resourcefulness in emergencies. His successful resolution of the situation not only saves Isabel, but also brings to light a criminal gang's activities, leading to their apprehension. The incident not only cements William's professional abilities, earning him respect and a promotion, but also fosters deep, unlikely friendships with Isabel and Mr. Johnson, the cemetery watchman who ultimately helps rescue them. These relationships enrich William's life, providing personal growth and professional validation. This story serves as a poignant reminder of the human element in policing, the importance of community interactions, and the profound impact of maintaining vigilance and courage in the face of adversity.